Welcome back to my channel today. I'm Rebecca Robeson and I'm so glad you're here because you know what? Summer is just around the corner. So this video is extremely timely. You know, Brenda, there is no reason to put your life at risk. I'm gonna to talk to you today about outdoor decorating. I mean, who doesn't want a, an oasis, right? Something that just draws them to want to go and spend time outdoors. Well, let me tell you this. When it comes to exterior decorating, it's very much like interior decorating and kind of like Christmas decorating if you think about it. It's a process and it's something that takes time in order to gather the things that you need, the different pieces of furniture. But if you make your choices smart when you make them, then every year, every summer, you can build on what you've already purchased, thus getting you closer to that end goal of making something absolutely fabulous. So let's talk about that process, shall we? When I bought this house, I'm actually going into my third year. Can you believe it? I've been in Tulsa over two years now, going into my third. When I bought the house, I was super excited because it had a gorgeous backyard. How many of you remember the tiny backyard I had in San Diego? Well, I made it look pretty good for this little tiny backyard, but you know, I had already bought furniture and that's what I decorated with there. It was kind of fun when my pods got here because I had all this outdoor furniture that I used in my very small backyard in San Diego. I made the most of that space, trust me. But here, I had a lot more room to spread things out, and that's exactly what I did. I used what I already had. The other thing I had was tiki torches. You guys remember my tiki torches? I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below where you can buy those tiki torches if you want them because every time I show them, everyone wants to know where they're from. Well, they're from my Amazon store, of course. And as that first year went along, my son Scott came to visit me for Mother's Day. Nine dollars for a screw? Right. We've been screwed. Guess what he did? He fixed the pool light, which had not worked in five years. I couldn't believe that a single light bulb, just a single bulb, would light that pool water up like there's no tomorrow. And it's working, and I bet at night it's gonna look so good. It'll light up the pool and it won't be a dark hole. Thank you. I bet at night it's, it'll shock everybody. <laughs> Honey, thank you. Yeah. Then Scott got busy and he decided to add those, I think I've always called them Malibu lights, but they're the lights that you put on the ground and they shine up into the trees. And with the trees I have in my backyard and my walls surrounding my backyard, all that brick, so beautiful. That first year, I entertained, I had my grandchildren. You know, Sawyer was just a baby then. He came over, he was already taking swimming lessons. I know, they start them very early nowadays. And we enjoyed that pool all summer long. <laughs> now the second year, I decided, okay, I've lived with what I have, but I wanna add to it. So, I ended up going shopping at Home Goods, and I bought myself some really fun extra pieces to add to the backyard space. Michael, you sit in it and you see what you think. Is it too short for you? It's not the worst. It's not the worst? You said it's not the worst. It's shorter people. So here was kind of the, here's the interesting thing about what I did. I already had blue cushions, blue stripe cushions that um, looked nice in my backyard. I already owned them. I didn't want to buy new ones, but what could I do? Well, I could add an accent color. So I chose orange and terracotta rust, and I bought some pillows that had both the blue and the rust in them. Orange umbrellas, I mean, why not? You know how I got my umbrellas? I think this is like a teaching moment. When I wanna buy something and I'm looking online, it's hard to know the exact color and I had a very specific shade that I wanted. So I bought three different umbrellas, had them all shipped here, took them out of the box, opened them up, 
checked the color by my pool and I made my decision and I returned the other two umbrellas. It's kind of like what I did when I bought my bar stools. Only when I did that, I bought eight of them. But there was a much bigger fish to fry last year. You know what that was? As much as we enjoyed the pool the first year I was here, I think we snagged more bathing suits on the surface of the pool than I even owned. Yeah, the surface of the pool, it was already 25 years old and it was showing through, it was rubbing through in some spots. You could see like the black underneath. So, I hired a team of contractors to come in and they resurfaced my pool. I got a phone call last night from Devin. Good morning. Woohoo! <laughs> They're coming this week to resurface my pool, the deck, and put in new tile. Yay, guys! Somebody's happy to see us. I it's like a that. good day. Like it's it, a good actually. week. And at the same time, if I'm gonna resurface, I should probably get new tile. Did I mention that the old tile that was on there had popped off in places? Some, some of the pieces were broken and I could not get that same tile. So it meant jackhammering out all the existing tile. I know, right? Guys on scaffolds inside my pool, my empty pool. I should have made it into a skateboard park. That would have been fun. The guys are here this morning finishing up with the tile work, just a little section there left, and then we're gonna grout it all. Actually, this part has been grouted. So yeah, they're almost done with the tile work, yay. And it's supposed to rain today. And you know what else they did? They resurfaced all the way around the perimeter of the pool because that was chipping and Basically, here's what I have to say. 25 years ago when this pool was put in, I'm sure it was the bomb diggity. But 25 years later, it really was showing signs of wear and tear. And it was just time to have it redone. Look how clean and nice this is. It used to be so grody. I could not be happier with how this is all turning out, I'll tell you. These guys are perfectionists. Got about an inch before it hits the tile. And then it's gotta go up about, I don't know, three inches above that maybe, halfway, maybe four inches. But other than all the leaves, it looks pretty, huh? Another thing happened. Not only was I getting my pool fixed, but my pond stopped working. See that? It's going off and on, and I don't know why. Look at this. Any idea what that is? Look at that. Do you know that I had a water bill last year, my first year here in December? My water bill was $1,000. I called Tulsa Water, I said, $1,000 for water? I mean, it rains here for goodness sake. I came from California and, I, and there's a drought there and I never had a $1,000 bill. Guess what we found out? My pond had a leak in it. There was a hole in my bucket, dear Liza, a hole. My pond guys are coming today and they, take, they tell me it's gonna take two days to finish the pond. Eric and Paul the plumber got it this far, and now it's a matter of removing the rest of the rocks. Apparently this part goes really deep. And make the pond work better and not have any leaks, which will cost me a lot less money <laughs> in the end. Look at all that. They had to go way down deep in there. Oh my gosh, they already did it. I didn't even see them put the liner in on the other side. Does the liner go all the way up? Sí. The blue? Sí. Vamos a emparejar. And I think the last piece that I added this last year was I bought myself a stainless steel fire pit. 
How many of you know that I'm going to be redoing, um, I'm gonna be adding on a master suite here on this floor, right? In fact, right here, this will be the entrance to my new master bedroom. And when it's here, I wanna put in an in the ground jacuzzi. Wouldn't that be so much fun? And an actual fire pit. But for now, this stainless steel one was very affordable and it works, it does the job. So now that I have you up to date with the last two years of my backyard in Tulsa, which has looked pretty good along the way, this year, year three, I'm taking it over the top. I mean, not financially, but just from a, a visually beautiful standpoint. So what did I do? I bought some new pots. So yeah, these pots have seen better days. They're actually full of these little worms that look like centipedes. So I'm gonna replace all that before I put my new flowers in. This one's like downright broken. I went to Home Goods and Lowe's and Home Depot and Ace Hardware. I have been the gamut of all these ready-made, you know, things you can get quickly stores here in Tulsa. We're about to start in on revamping my outdoor space after all the freezes and all the cold weather here in Tulsa. And uh, it's actually raining today, so it doesn't seem like an outdoor space day. But I just uh, happened to drive by this amazing nursery, and I just picked out those purple and pink hydrangeas. Aren't those gorgeous? Maybe this one. Yep, shorter. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. God, these are some of the most beautiful hydrangeas. Have you ever seen anything like this, you guys? Now look at this with these colors, the purple and the orange and the yellow. Ugh, so beautiful. All right, I'm at Home Goods, and I'm gonna see if they have any outdoor pillows because I never got the amount that I wanted last year when I was gonna do a full remake of my backyard. And so I'm gonna see what they have this year. The the ticket, the the way to do well at Home Goods is to get there very early in any given season, whether it be Christmas, spring, summer, whatever. The earlier you get there, the better the selection. I'm at my second uh, Home Goods. I just found out there are only two Home Goods in all of Oklahoma, and both of them are in Tulsa. This one is about 40 minutes away from the last one. So I took all the plants home, emptied my trunk, and I'm ready to fill up again. Let's see what they have here. Can you tell? It's raining out there. <sighs> okay, well, I had moderate success at this home goods. Now I have to drive back 40 more minutes to the other one, which doesn't make any sense to you guys, but my car was full, so I had to empty it. And I, my, I live in the middle of these two home goods. So it was a matter of me driving out here and then driving back. So I'm gonna go get the pots and then I consider myself having had a very successful day. Noah and I are going to start placing the furniture and all my outdoor pots. Okay. When I get my outdoor pots placed, you'll know where to put a drip system for those because okay. those pots, those flowers need to be watered every day. I mean, that's like, adopting a child. One day, Noah, who is my new videographer, by the way, you know what I need to tell you? A lot of you have seen, especially on Instagram, my videographer and producer is Angela. Angela just had a baby boy. So shout out to Angela and little Michael Johnson. That's his name and he's so precious. Noah is now taking in for Angela. Noah, come here. Come here. This is Noah, isn't he cute? He's, he's super cool too, look. He wears earrings that like go through one side and out the other. I haven't even told him I thought that was cool, but it's pretty cool. Anyway, Noah's amazing and he came one Saturday and he helped me then move all the furniture into their new location so that we could get it just right and create a sense of symmetry. One of the challenges I have out here is it's a very narrow walkway and you need to have room to walk all the way around the pool but still have a place to sit. So what we're gonna do is Noah's going to create a solid base 
that this umbrella can scoot back and not have to be on the grass in order to accommodate what I need. And then we'll be able to push the umbrella back at least and maybe put some of my lanterns out here. Because I own, you know, I should call this series This Old House because <laughs> this is an old house. It's almost 100 years old. And guess what? All of the sprinkling system, broken pipes, broken sprinklers, the sprinkling system didn't work. Oy, oy, oy. So I had Luciano come and he and his son came on a weekend and they dug down. They had to actually dig out part of my yard. I know, right? To find where these leaking pipes were. They found them and they fixed them. So glad about that. That equipment you bought, I'm so proud of you. It's solid metal, so it won't break on me. Good. No. Will it break my pot? No, it won't break it. Okay, good. Rio helped me pot all of the new flowers, which he was super excited about. He's my gardener, and I gave him a, a chance. He was like starting his business. He's still in college. I think he's, well, I think he told me he's 20. He just turned 20. I hired him when he was 19. And so I've been teaching him how to be a businessman, how to be a decorator outside. So he and I have the best of fun together as we're working together because I give him all kinds of, you know, a hard time. Rio, you took all my ground cover. You what? Are all, is all of that weeds? Yeah, I think it is. I thought well, it was ground cover, but it's not. <laughs> this, is the, this is what's supposed to be there. This okay, is, um, so now I just have dirt. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> not break the pot. That kid can drive a lawnmower. I, it, he does it like he's playing Mario. He just scoots through this yard. Oh, he's so fast and he gets it done. And he works long, hard hours. He's a good one. One of the biggest things I did, super excited about it, I had the people who put my Christmas lights up on my house, I had them come back and put market lights up on the back, in the backyard, overhanging, like they droop. Oh my gosh, it's so dramatic. It's so gorgeous. Those are hanging now over my patio. I'm telling you, as the backyard came together, it was pretty thrilling. But you know what needed to be done at the very end? We needed to clean the place. <music> Cleaning the pool, going in and reorganizing the rocks. They made it look like a, a fairway, you know? And I wanted it to look like a meandering path, right? So Eric and Brenda came and they came yesterday because today is Thursday, today is the reveal. We're filming the reveal of my backyard. I mean, a lot of people have worked hard to get pull this all together. Mm -hmm. You're gonna kill me now. <laughs> I'm not gonna kill him, I love him. Move it into the water. It's too like, out on its own. And, and Brenda, she decides, well, didn't this table, this is teak, right? Didn't this used to be like a different color? I'm like, yeah. She goes, well, I'm trying to clean it. I said, you have to sand it. The next thing I know, Brenda is sanding my teak table, <laughs> bringing it back to life. These guys, they do anything and everything. You know, Brenda, there is no reason to put your life at risk. <laughs> but here 
there they are now at my house, helping me with every aspect of getting ready to film the reveal of my backyard. And it was glorious. Last night, the lights came on, the lights on the umbrellas, the market lights. I had the tiki torches all set up, the pool light was on, all of my balcony lights. Oh, I had to test it because I want this reveal video to be, ah. Uh, and then this happened. I need to lower my umbrellas and turn all these lights off. Good Lord. Oh. Well, I don't have to water in the morning. That's good, right? Oh my gosh, seriously.